So that's it, it's 10 a.m., I'm ready for work. All right, it has just gone 5 a.m. I have my cup of tea, I'm about to jump on a bus and I will be at the yard by 6 a.m. So I've just got to the yard, it's about 6 a.m. I've just fed the horses breakfast so Ted and everyone are just eating back there. Usually during this time I would make my hay nets but I actually already did that last night so instead I'm gonna open the barn doors, change into my yard boots and then once everyone's finished eating Ted will stand out in the yard with a hay net whilst I do his stable. It's pretty cold, it's about two degrees today so it's good that we've got lots to be getting on with. So Ted's finished eating breakfast, he's now stood out on the yard with a hay net and I'm just gonna muck at his stable. So I'm going to speed on through this. I actually have a whole video on my mucking out process and I'll link that out if you want to see it. But otherwise, let's keep going. Keep moving on through. If only you could fast forward mucking out in real life. So Ted's bed is all done. So now we're going to groom and then take up a ride. It's about 20 past six at the moment. So as I mentioned earlier, it's really cold today, so I'm actually not taking Ted's rug completely off when I'm grooming him. I'm doing half of his body with his rug folded back and then doing the other half with his rug folded forward. When I groom, I use a plastic curry comb and I follow up with a dandy brush. I use the plastic curry comb to remove any stubborn mud. It's very muddy and wet in the UK at the moment. And then I follow up with the dandy brush on any sensitive areas such as underneath where the girth goes or on his face because it's a bit softer and it gets rid of the extra dust. I personally avoid body brushes because Ted spends a lot of his time out in the field. Body brushes can actually remove the natural oils in a horse's coat. So I, I try to use them sparingly, any kind of brush. And then I finish up by picking out his feet before I tack up. But really when I'm grooming, I'm looking particularly around where the tack is going. So behind his ears, on his cheeks, underneath his girth and between his legs. All those places, if there is dirt there, that's where it will rub under the tack. So that's the areas I'm really looking at. So it's just before 7am, Ted and I are tacked up and ready to go. We're just about to head down to the school and do some flat work. So we'll see you down there. So because I ride so early and everything is on such a tight schedule, I really like to know what I'm looking for in the school, what my session will look like and what good looks like so that I know when I can stop um, or when I should keep pushing for something in particular. So today, because it was really cold, we took a little bit longer to warm up just to give Ted's muscles that extra bit of time and the same with the cool down. And really today, I was just looking for a really nice balanced trot and a nice canter. Canter is something we've been working on for the last few sessions, so I felt really good about where we got to today. <laughs> Hi, monkey. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, I know that was a bit dramatic, but we've been practicing gates every single time we've been in the school, and this is the first time he's actually shut it with his chest. I'm sure it was an accident, but I thought it was amazing. So it's about eight o'clock now and we've finished riding. You will have seen me loosen the girth there in the school and I always undo his girth and his flash first just to make him the most comfortable after riding. And then I obviously remove his saddle and finally his bridle. He's not sweaty today, so I'm going straight to get his outdoor rug and pop that on because it is cold. I don't want him standing naked for very long. <laughs> Once I popped his rug on and made sure that he's warm, I'll pop his tack back in the tack room and then I'll change my boots. So I'll change out of my riding boots and into my uh, yard boots before I turn him out in the field. So Ted is out. I'll just make his feeds now, tidy up and then I'm good to go. So Ted is out in the field back there. Um, his feeds are done. I've tidied up and now I'm going to head to work. My commute is a short walk from here into central London. It takes me about an hour by train. And once I'm there at work, I'll shower, change into my work clothes, put my makeup on and start my real day. So that's it. It's 10 a.m. I'm ready for work. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and leave me your time-saving morning routine tips in the comments because I'll be in there. Thanks. See ya.